Let's talk about the Veritas dual marking gauges for mortise and tenons. Hola, woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. I'm doing some triple tenons, and they're going to be spiked. And so these are the mortises on the end piece of the Samurai Carpenter workbench. What I need to do is transfer precise measurements, and those need to get marked out here on the end of the apron. I could try to use my little uh, Veritas uh, L-square and, and try to get a measurement and line that up and read it properly, but that relies on my reading it, that re relies on my lining it up, and that relies on me remembering what it is and transferring it and then marking it right in the right place. Well, I'm not that good. The beauty of these dual marking gauges is they have two arms on them with different connectors on the end of them. One of them designed to go on the inside, one reach the far outside here. So let me demonstrate. Uh, there are brass finger uh, screws here. And so I loosen those, and there's a third one as well. This one holds this rod, this one holds this rod, and the third one holds the two rods relative to each other, so things are less likely to move. So what I want to do is uh, loosen everything. I got kind of tight here because I just used it. But loosen everything. Uh, make sure I know that I'm referencing the top of this end piece and then referencing the top of my apron. So I've double checked that. And so I just uh, take this rod here and I uh, move it till it pulls right back and you can feel it engage on the edge because it's got a little raised ridge and so it runs along that bar and catches the edge of your mortise. So I've got that one in place and I screw that down pretty tight because you don't want to slip when you're marking. Then I've got the other bar and I can push that until it hits the edge of the mortise and then I lock that down and then with those two there I, I lock them in relationship to each other. Again I'm trying to avoid slipping. So I, I double check my uh, alignment here. Now, I've got that perfect off the, making sure you reference off the right side. You're only going to cut with one of these at a time, so let's use the uh, inside one. Get this uh, Veritas gauge up against my workpiece, nice and secure, and then I scribe a line. And by the way, these can get dull, and so you can actually buy replacements. And little bitty uh, Allen wrench there uh, puts them on. So you mark that line. What I do is I scribe the line, because it scribes, and then I take my um, Graph Gear 1000 uh, 5 millimeter lead, which is the finest that I have, and I use that for my inkwit devices, and then I find I can move that right along in that groove, and then that marks it for this old man's eyes. And then you younger guys can probably get away by just using the scribe line and not having to mark it any darker. I want to continue this down the uh, side. So I pick one of these two to a uh, mark. Try to keep it consistent. Don't press too hard because that will make it harder to move it. And sometimes you'll feel yourself that you didn't get a good accurate slide because you moved the so uh, just try to do it again and make sure you mark which one's the right line. That's the way I would mark off this tenon to fit into this mortise, hopefully precisely. Uh, I hope that helps you understand these uh, Veritas dual marking gauges for mortise and tenons better. And I highly recommend them, although they're not cheap. Uh, I've certainly had some others before but I like the two rods and I like being able to lock them in relationship to each other. And so uh, the less expensive ones just don't work as well for me. Small workshop guy, I hope you found that helpful. Signing off.